crashing. Hey, I'm Chase Jarvis. If you can hold on for two minutes, I'm gonna show you the secrets behind high-speed flash photography. High-speed photography is linking a flash to an action or an event. You can use high-speed photography to capture a number of things. In this shot, we're focused on freezing the dramatic action of an exploding water balloon, and we're then gonna take that image and composite it into another shot of our kung fu master fighting the elements. There are four keys to high-speed photography. One is you need to lower the ambient light, keep that down. Two, remember that the shutter is not stopping the action, the flash is. Three, you can use any number of specialized triggers like a sound trigger or a laser to trip the flash or you can do so manually with your thumb and a pocket wizard. Four, remember, faster strobes or shorter flash duration will give you a cleaner looking shot and a better result. So what's going on right here is I'm opening the shutter with the shutter release in my hand. Okay, Cody, I want that balloon out there. Cody then slashes the balloon and as the water explodes from the slashed balloon, I'm tripping the strobes with my other hand where I've got the pocket wizard attached to the, uh, the Profoto 7As. There in the center of the frame, you'll see the Apple 30 inch cinema display. That display is connected to a 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro, and I'm shooting tethered. Uh, I'm using the H2D, the Hasselblad medium format. Uh, to my right-hand side, you'll see a soft box, and you'll also see one to the left, although one's a little obscured. I'm using the Pocket Wizard transceivers to trip the strobes. The backdrop is a 12x12 Matthews Duvetine, and then uh, you'll see Scott up on a ladder. Scott is suspending the water balloon from a little pole that we had constructed and you'll see Cody in the middle of the frame there. He's dressed in black so it's easy to composite him out and he's got a knife and he's slashing that water balloon on my cue. And now we're going to cut to Scott real quick and he'll show you how we put this stuff together in post-production. Chase told you how we got the shot of the water. Now I'm going to show you how we put it together in post to uh, complete the composite. First we created a background using four different images with cool cloud textures. Then we opened up the image of the model as a layer on top of the sky background. Created a mask around the model, removing the background he was shot on, leaving him on the sky. Then we opened up the water explosion as a layer on top of the model, and isolated the water using blend if sliders to remove all of the black, leaving only the water explosion. Then we worked with the color, tone, and contrast of each layer individually in order to make them match well, combine the layers, and use some tricks to add grit and texture. And so remember, there's four keys to high-speed photography. First, keep the ambient light low in the area you're shooting. Second, it's not the shutter that's stopping the action, it's the strobe. And three, you can either use a special trigger or you can manually trip the strobes with a pocket wizard. And four, faster strobes or shorter flash duration result in better, cleaner shots.